Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch export ScreenFlow project files. To use the batch export process in ScreenFlow 9, first open ScreenFlow. In the top menu, go to File, Batch Export. In the left sidebar where you see Documents, this is where you're going to tell ScreenFlow what documents you want to batch export. I'm going to click on the plus symbol in the bottom left. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I'm going to select my ScreenFlow project files. First, I'll select all of the online course modules because I want to export the video and the audio for these. So I'm just going to hold the shift key and select all five of those then click on open to bring them in. If I ever want to remove one, just select it and click the minus. On this side, you're going to select an output folder. So this is where you want to save them to. So for the online course, I want to save it to this folder. I'll click on choose. Select the preset that you want for your video and audio files. So I'll click on this. Dimensions, 100%. Scale, I want to make sure it's at 1920 by 1080. I'll click begin. Then you'll see the progress down here. ScreenFlow is going to export the final MP4 files that I can just upload to YouTube or wherever I'm hosting my online course. Let's do one more example, this time with the podcast. So we're going to go up to the file menu, go to file, batch export. On the left sidebar, we're going to click on the plus symbol to bring in the files. I'll go to my desktop, go to the ScreenFlow project, and now I'm going to select all of the podcast ScreenFlow projects. Holding the shift key, I'm clicking open. First, I'm going to select the output folder. I'll click on choose. I'll navigate to that podcast folder that's currently empty and click on choose. Under the presets, I'm going to click on the drop down. For audio only, you can select between lossless, which is uncompressed, or you can select AAC. I'm going to select lossless and then convert it to an MP3 in Audition. Then I'm going to click on begin, and in less than a minute, ScreenFlow exported the audio only from my ScreenFlow projects. Now you can open Adobe Audition, open up those audio only uncompressed files, and drag them right onto that batch process window in Audition. Click on Export Settings. Under Location, select where you want to save the files to. So we'll go to that Desktop folder for podcasting. Click Choose. Under Format, select MP3. Change the format settings how you want it for your podcast. Click OK. Click Run. Audition will convert all of those audio-only files from ScreenFlow to an MP3 file that you can now upload to your podcast host. And that is how you use the batch export process to speed up your video editing workflow in ScreenFlow 9. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.